today is going to be kind of a hodgepodge. We are going to do a vintage recipe that I don't think I've ever made, but I've heard about for years. I'm going to share with you a great snack option that is not going to increase your waistline. And Stephen and I are going to be answering your questions. I asked for questions here on YouTube and on Instagram for us to answer that you guys wanted to know. So we're going to be answering those in today's video. Raise your hand if you are familiar with Frito pie. I'm familiar with it, but I've never made it. So we're gonna make it today. And I did want to thank Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. So we're gonna get started. I have already shredded my cheese and I have not yet given Gracie any cheese because I know that you guys need proof that I give her a piece of cheese. I did want to comment. I've gotten several comments lately that say that cats are lactose intolerant and you are right, but I literally give her one little piece of cheese. She only gets it maybe a couple of times a week. She doesn't get a lot, so she's handled it just fine. But I need to dice my onion, and then this is gonna move really quickly. I have tears on my glasses. <laughs> I know better. I know, I, know, I know the tricks, but here I am. Okay, to get started, I'm going to heat this skillet to medium high, that is warming up now, and we need to turn our oven on to 400. Okay, so the tricks are leave the root intact while you're cutting it. A wet paper towel will absorb the gases from it that make you tear up and or you could use my handy dandy dicer that I use all the time, but I did none of that. I just stood there and cried. Sometimes you just need a good cry. You ready for some q and I'm ready. Okay, y'all. So the door's opening. And cold. Now it. start over. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> We're gonna start over again. Mm. I'm irritated. Okay, we ready? We're yes, ready. Sir. All right, y'all. So you had a lot of questions. I did a call for questions on Instagram and on YouTube, and you had a lot of questions for us. And hopefully we've got a lot of answers for you. We're gonna commentate. <laughs> Mary Strigel. Mary Strigel. Mary Strigel. She asked how Stephen and I met. Stephen and I met on a blind date and we we actually have a video where we shared a lot about that. It was a batter chatter. Do you remember that? I do remember that. So I'll link it below instead of us answering it here again. We go into great detail about our early days in our relationship in that video. So go check out that video. What does Steven do for a living? It's very boring. Okay. <laughs> it's very boring. He sits in front of a computer all day. I'm a nerd. He is. Certifiable. He is. I am a software engineer or software architect my, my engineer. official just software developer we'll just leave it at that there you go software developer and so in my mind that means he knows everything there is to know about computers so whenever i have any kind of issue with mm -hmm. a computer i go to him and he says i don't know i'm like yes you do that's right like in the south if y'all want a pickup truck you're the guy that's gonna help move right, right 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 and he's like hun i don't know and he mm -hmm. does a few things and he tries a few things and if that doesn't work he's like i don't know and i'm like yes you do <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> yep. So there was a second part to Mel's question, and it was, have you ever worked outside of the home? I guess she's talking about me. I have. I used to be a pharmacy technician. I also worked in a corporate job, corporate setting, for six and a half years, I believe. And then I did Mary Kay prior to doing what I do now. So now I work from home doing YouTube and all the fun things that come along with that. You ain't gonna tell them about the pink Cadillac? Pink Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a pink Cadillac. We was riding in the Pepto-Bill. <laughs> it didn't look. If you've seen a pink Cadillac recently, they're Pepto not Pepto Mobile. pink anymore. They're, they're really pretty pink. Like I mentioned, today's video is sponsored by Catalina Crunch and I've really fallen in love with their cookies. They have four flavors of cookies and then they also have a seasonal or limited edition one that I'm gonna tell you about today. When I first heard about Catalina Crunch, I was very skeptical that these cookies would actually taste good seeing as how they only have one gram of sugar per cookie. So their normal flavors are chocolate vanilla. They have vanilla cream, peanut butter, and mint chocolate. I love the mint chocolate, but I also love their limited edition flavor. Right now they are offering their lemon cream flavor, and it is so light 
and refreshing, but it still satisfies that sweet craving that I have. So you can order any of the flavors or you can do a variety pack where it will have all four of their best selling flavors. I mentioned that they only have one gram of sugar per cookie, but they are also low carb and higher in protein than other cookies. They are keto friendly and they are made with clean ingredients. There's nothing artificial. So this particular cookie that looks like another very well-known cookie has one gram of sugar per cookie as the other well-known cookie has 14 grams of sugar. Like I mentioned, these are a keto-friendly snack. You don't have to go to the store to get them. You can order them online. They'll come straight to your door. And these tasty cookies really just bridge the gap to a satisfying sweet treat that is plant-based, low sugar, low carb, and absolutely delicious. So why did they choose lemon cream as their limited edition? Well, they went out and asked Catalina Crunch fans what their number one request would be for a limited edition cookie, and they said lemon cream. So it kind of combines the sweet and tangy to create that perfect tart treat. They blend a crisp lemon cookie with a smooth, creamy filling that boasts a bold citrus flavor. So you are satisfying your sweet cravings with this new flavor, but you are foregoing all of the artificial ingredients from other cookies. So if you're wanting to try out these cookies, especially this lemon cream, be sure to head down to my description box. I will have a link there and you can use the code MANDY to save 15%, plus you're going to get free shipping. The lemon cream is a special release and it is only while supplies last, so be sure to take advantage while they're still in stock. Thanks Catalina Crunch for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get back to cooking. So I've got my one pound of ground beef that I have started to brown here in the skillet. To this we're going to add our diced onion. I'm still crying. It's been a hard day. Just kidding. So we're just going to brown this until the meat is done. Towards the end, I'm going to add in some minced garlic as well. Lemon Daryl, what was each of yours first car or truck you drove as a kid? I loved this question. It's so, it's so fun. So what was your yeah. first car? My first car has got all the ladies. Okay. <laughs> You took me to prom in that. Oh yeah, man. I am cruise up <laughs> down the road in this thing. That's right, it was a Toyota Tercel. What color was it? And that thing was puke green. It was mint green. It was like it, mucus green. No, it wasn't. Okay. It was mint green, it was cute. It had a little smiley face sticker on the back because I thought I was cool. Oh my. It was not cool. <laughs> he took me to prom in that. Pretty we have a really cute picture. Crushed it, man. If we, if I can find, if I can find a picture of you getting, you remember the car, the picture of you getting into the car and you were making a face. It's from. That prom. sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if if I have that, it'll pop up here. My first car, I only had for about a month, because I bought it. I saved up and bought it. Paid cash for it. Was so excited. I had it a month, and a guy ran into the back of me, and. Um, totaled it. But it was a 1986 Honda Accord yeah. LXI and it had the pop-up headlights. Man, Do you, you know what I'm talking about? You were styling. I'm yeah. telling you what, I was so excited. I was adamant when I my parents were like, okay, what, what car do you want? I said, I want the pop-up headlights. <laughs> Dad was like, this is what you want? Like, this is, this is all you care about? It's like, it's so cute though. <laughs> They wink at you. They do. They just, and you know, some people would put like the little eyelashes on them. You, you didn't that? tell them where you worked at to afford uh, that. I've told them where I worked at uh -huh. as a teenager. Where'd you work? The fish camp. The fish camp. We always order ha a half and half plate, salt and pepper flounder filet, and catfish stew. Catfish stew. You got to have the catfish stew. It's so good. Anyway. But yeah, Get he you some had, pickled onions too, put on the side. He had a Toyota Tercel. I had a Honda Accord, 1986, baby. How did Sweet Gracie Lou come into your lives? And look, this thing has 59 thumbs up. Everybody wants to know yeah. how we got Gracie Lou. I think it was December of 2005. Believe pretty it. sure. Okay. Because Cole was already right. born. Right. But he was little. He was very little. I don't think he was a year old yet. You keep going off oh, camera. I'm sorry. Hey, hang out with us over sorry, here. Sorry for um, he was very, very little. I think it was December of 2005. So we had had a cat prior to her, a cat that was only, how old was JJ? He was only like three, three, four years three old, years yeah. old, I think, when he died. Yeah. Um, it was a very sad, sad, sad yeah. thing. And it was right after Cole was born. So Cole was born, and then three months later, JJ died. Um, 
he had something called a male cat blockage. Mm. I won't go into it, but it was very, very sad and very traumatic. It was yeah. awful. We loved Jay. Jay was so precious. Anyway, we had been missing having a cat. And I think that this website is still around. The website we got her off of. Do you remember? I don't. My mom found her. My mom called me and said, I just saw a beautiful cat that's listed on FreeCycle. FreeCycle? It was through Yahoo, I'm pretty sure. It was like FreeCycle.org. And it's basically people listed stuff for free. Hmm. Stuff that they were getting rid of. Well, somebody put this cat on FreeCycle. It was Gracie Lou. So... We called and they said, yeah, you could come, you know. Don't tell her that, though. Don't tell Gracie that. She I was, was free. put on free cycle? <laughs> she was free. Oh, man, I can see her now. She'd be <laughs> all upset about that. The reason why they were getting rid of her, she was about a year old when we got her. She wasn't a baby, but she was very, very young. The reason they were getting rid of her, do you remember that? Because they had a dog. Now, they had they? lots of dogs. Do you remember what they did? It was a Jack Russell Terrier or something, wasn't it? They bred Jack Russell Terriers. Ah. And they found her. She was. They rescued her. They found her completely by herself as a little itty-bitty kitten. And they thought, oh, we'll, we'll bring her in. But Gracie Lou with a bunch of Jack Russell t Terriers. Oh, yeah. That ain't going to work. No. It, and they told her that she was a little, she was a little on the... Uh, she was skittish. Kind of skittish and might hiss at you. And yeah. Not like you, that type and of thing. She, and she did. She was... She, it took her a while to get used to us, yeah. but speaking of, Lou. She's like, there ain't no food in my bowl. What's wrong with y'all? Got me on free cycle. Got you on How free you? cycle, you little girl. I'm the little she puts her paw up there. She always puts her paw behind my neck. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if she's stabilizing herself or what. What are you doing? She's like, I came in here because uh, I usually get some food when y'all are in here. She's a sweet girl. She's right up against Mandy all the time. All the time. Wherever Mandy is, Gracie is sure to follow. That's right. She's right there. So we're best friends, Mom. We're best friends. 10,000 Days of Gratitude says, or asks, how do you and Stephen avoid or resolve disagreements? Oh, man. You want to take that one? <laughs> I know how I do it. What? I just say, uh-huh. <laughs> Look, That's right. Notice the technique. <laughs> look, eyebrows up, looking sincere, right? And excited. <laughs> like you really, really mean it now. Okay? And you just, uh huh. <laughs> and you just get that nod going. I love you. Oh, we disagree all the time. The thing is, is it's all about forgiveness. It's all about forgiveness and. Just respect. Yeah. I mean, you're not always going to agree about everything. That's right. You're two different people. And, you know, they say opposites attract. So that mm -hmm. means you're going to have differing opinions on things. We've been having differing opinions for 23 years. Yeah, we have different opinions on all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I will say that we have a lot less arguments now than we did when we were younger. And it's just learning what, <laughs> what not to do, how to not push each other's buttons. And just learning also, some things are just not worth fighting about. It's just really not worth it. Yeah, pick your battles. Yep. I mean, some things you have to draw a line in the sand. Sometimes it's just, there's no line. You know, I mean, there's times you just have to, I mean, some things you just have to compromise on. I mean, especially if it's not a right or wrong situation. You right. Know, it's more of it's a just preference an opinion type of thing. thing. Yeah. And it's just, you know. But I will it's just, say, yes, honey. Uh huh. Right. I will say that he is really good about saying he's sorry. He will say he's sorry quicker than I will. I'm slower to say I'm sorry about something. He is so much faster about doing that. I need to be more like him. But when we argue, a lot of times we have to separate for a while. We just have to get away from each other and calm down. And then we make up. We always yeah. just we come back together and say, okay, let's chat this. Let's chat this through. Let's let's figure this out. And, right. and we do, so. Understanding and forgiveness, isn't it, babe? Yeah, it is. The other thing was, what is Stephen's hobby what is Stephen's and what is your hobby? hobby? What do you like to do in the evenings to, like, unwind? Mm, I may play some games. I may watch YouTube. He does go down the YouTube rabbit hole a lot. There's a uh, particular YouTuber out there who I enjoy. 
His name is Mr. Ballin. If you look him up, he has some weird stories that he tells, and uh, sometimes they're very funny. If you like food, I don't know anybody here who like food. I mean, I don't know. This is the shot in the dark. If you like food, there's another YouTuber called Mark Weens. Yeah, he's got really cool, really cool content. Yeah. And then my hobby, I love to read. I also, I also like to do any type of puzzles, actual physical like jigsaw puzzles and or like Sudoku or um, crossword puzzles, word finds, things like that. Okay, our meat is pretty much done. There's still a little bit of pink in here, but we're close enough to where I'm gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic. You can put in as much as you'd like. I'm gonna put in a couple of teaspoons. At this point, once it's done, you'll want to drain it. Mine really does not have much grease on it at all. It was a very lean cut or lean ground beef. So I don't have to worry about that. Now at this point, you wanna add in a packet of taco seasoning or about three tablespoons of taco seasoning if you have your own. We're gonna add in about a cup of chili sauce. I don't think I quite have a cup, which is okay. I'm gonna make up for that with my salsa. The recipe calls for one cup of salsa. I'm gonna go with about a cup and a half just because I didn't have quite enough of the chili sauce. I'm also gonna turn my heat down to about medium. Okay, so the recipe calls for a little more seasoning, some chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're just gonna let this hang out for a couple of minutes before we go and transfer it to a baking dish. And would this be a Mandy video if she didn't forget an ingredient? Of course not. So the recipe calls for kidney beans. We're not too big on kidney beans. So I just drained and rinsed these pinto beans and we're gonna add that in. You could do black beans if you wanted to, whatever beans you have on hand. But And you know what I just remembered? You can definitely switch this to a baking dish, but I'm just going to put this thing in, or this whole skillet in the oven because this can be in the oven up to 500 degrees. So I'm, instead of dirtying another dish, we're just gonna bake it here. So I've got about three cups of cheese here. I've got cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack. This is going to a special little girl, Grace. So I just turned my skillet off. I'm gonna put about half of the cheese on top. This is called Frito pie, but Fritos are just corn chips. And I just went with the generic from our grocery store, but it's a small bag, it's 10 ounces. I think I'm gonna be using the majority of this and then we'll add the rest of the cheese on top. Um, it calls for four cups of Fritos. I'm just doing what feels right here. And we're gonna cover it up with the rest of the cheese. So if you make your Frito pie differently, let me know in the comments how you do it. That's one of the most beautiful things about cooking is that you can make it to your liking. And then this is just gonna go in the oven for like 10 minutes just to make sure all the cheese is good and melted. And then it's gonna be time to eat. Do you get recognized in public a lot? I wouldn't say a lot. Not a lot, not no. A lot. It's happened several times, but not a lot. One time we got, <laughs> she got noticed. It was her that got noticed. I don't get noticed. They don't, they don't notice the common tater. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just like the rest of the taters in there. But, uh, but, they, <laughs> but they noticed her. We was coming out of uh, a restaurant in Tennessee. Remember that? Oh, I remember Bless that. Bless her heart, she's probably watching right now. She probably is, and she remembers this. She scared me to death. She didn't mean to, but she scared me. She was so cute. <laughs> she was so cute. It was, it was a great interaction, but it was kind of, you know, startling because we were walking out, and they are walking in, and... And, and uh, she said, <gasps> yeah. I mean, like, sucked and, all the air out of the room, and I was like, oh, gosh. I think we thought something happened. Yeah, you know? we thought something happened. We didn't know what was going on. And I turned, and I looked, and she said, Mandy? And I was like. <laughs> you know, I mean. It, it just it just totally yeah. threw us for a loop. You don't think about stuff like that. No. And then it happens and then you don't know what to do. She and... was very sweet. But it doesn't happen often. And the other part of the question was, how do you react to that? How do you each react to that? He does better than I do. He's like, oh, hey. But I'm so thrown off. I just want a big old hug, you know. It just, just, hey, what's going on? It blows my mind. It really does. It blows my mind that somebody knows who I am. And I'm like, I, I probably come across as very strange because I'm just, I, I don't know how to react. Yeah, she didn't know how to react. I, but he's always like, honey, you should have done this or you should have said this or you, and I, oh yeah, I should have done that. I'm just like, go up and get a picture made or something. Do something. I, I'm, I'm, so if, if you, if you see her out here, just 
make sure that when you see her in public, just rag her about it. <laughs> hey, are you going to come over here and say hey to me or not? No, I'm so bad. It's not that I don't want to. I'm just so shocked that someone recognizes me. I just don't know how to react. No question. Just comment. You and Steven are so natural on camera. Thanks, Mama. I love Thanks, you. Thanks, Mom. That was my mom mama. Fran mom in love. <laughs> she she left that comment. That's so sweet. Ooh, what are your favorite Hilton Head Island restaurants and activities? That's actually a good one. Java Burrito. Ja yep, Java Burrito. Oh, if you have not eaten a Java Burrito, you need to repent in dust and ashes <laughs> and go there. It's a fantastic <laughs> it's restaurant. It's so good. It's like Chipotle, but fresher local ingredients they have breakfast and they have lunch and then they have really great coffee a really great coffee bar they have something there called a mexican mocha i get it every single time i go it is so good it is really good. oh my you word thank us later uh, old oyster factory yeah old oyster factory that's Gotta a go really there. nice one it's um, really good it's kind of on the marsh area it's got really beautiful views um, and their food is fantastic. And then Main Street. Uh, Main Street Pub. I don't Main think it's called Pub. that anymore. Uh, yeah, it might be Main Street Cafe now. Uh, something, or something like that. But it's kind of. It looks like a pub, but it's not really a pub. Like it's not. Right, like and it's more of a local spot. Yeah. It is not a touristy spot. We used to go there because they had all you can eat crab legs. They no longer do yes. that. But they have a seafood platter, and it's. I think personally, it's. The best seafood platter you'll find on the it's island, it's really probably. good it's very good so salty dog is always good if you've never been there it's kind of a touristy spot I but have a salty good, dog right? hat t shirt it's like the thing you got to do but the food is just I mean, like it's, you know, it's it's fine it's pretty good it's fine one hot mamas yes one oh my goodness one, one hot mamas hot mamas one hundred percent got to go to one hot mamas if you Sparky. go there and they still have it get the burnt in chili yes. Oh, and for appetizer, get the brisket queso. Yes. Oh, man, that brisket queso. I'm yes. telling you what. You're going to love it. You notice we're naming food, food, food. We don't really do a whole lot when we go. Just a bunch of eaters. <laughs> we, um, we've we done, like, the dolphin cruises before. Those are yeah. fun to do. Yep. Um, just going down to the lighthouse in, at Hilton Head. Yep. But we just, we don't do a whole lot when we're on vacation, believe it or not. We just, we just eat. And go out by the pool and by the ocean and that's about it we don't do a whole lot oh my stars this looks good yes please get in my belly do y'all see this goodness i'm telling you what it is just me here right now the guys left to go do something they'll be back a little bit later but i think they're eating while they're out which is fine this will be great leftover i'm sure i'm gonna do the taste test for you this avocado was about to go bad so i went ahead and sliced it up you could put sour cream on top which i might also do quite honestly this looks so yummy let's eat so i don't burn my hand it's very hot these are called bowl cozies i always want to say koozie but it's a cozy i found mine at a just a local vendor had made it they're on amazon as well i've got some linked in my amazon store if you're interested but they're really great for hot things but also if you have a bowl of ice cream and your hand is freezing Put this on there. I think a can of diced green chilies would have been good in this as well. Mmm. Ooh, and that avocado and sour cream too. You know what I think does it? That chili sauce. I think that just makes it so much different than I was expecting, but in a good way because it's kind of reminiscent of a chili, but it has those good Mexican flavors in it. Oh, this is delicious. I think the guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna send them a picture, tell them they're missing out. I hope you will give this Frito pie a try. It is so delicious. And don't forget that after you eat your Frito pie, if you want a sweet treat that is not going to increase your waistline, check out my description box for the link to go order your Catalina Crunch cookie pack. If you use code MANDY, you are going to save 15%, plus you're going to get free shipping on any of the cookie packs. Thanks, y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye.